Hi there, welcome back to another video for Marvel Snap. In this case, I will be demonstrating my Patriot deck. This is a pretty standard deck you'll see in the game. Um, I really don't think mine varies too much. It's uh, pretty typical. Most of the decks will have a very similar assortment. They might differ a little bit on whether Mr. Sinister or a different type of card is in there, but generally you want your cards that don't have special abilities. You want your Patriot to give them a nice buff. Oftentimes you'll see Mystique paired with that or Blue Marvel to give them extra buffs to get the points up there. And then for your six-point cards, Onslaught, Ultron, and Doom tend to be the three most common. Onslaught, of course, because he doubles the ongoing effects. Ultron and Doom because they put out additional unpowered cards that will then get powered up by Patriot um, and the combination with Mystique and or Blue Marvel or all of the above if you're fortunate to get them on the field. You might also see some with Sarah or other versions, but this is how I play mine, and we're going to take it out for a test drive. All right, let's see how it does. I got up to level 93, and then I just had a string of bad luck. Got busted back down to 89. I'm just having to crawl back up. That was so close. I actually think I cracked 94, and then I had my bad luck. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it happens. You'll get a string where you just can't seem to get a good deck, uh, or you can't seem to get your deck to come out in a good order, or the locations are bad. I mean, getting world shipped three times in a row is pretty sucky, no matter how you play your deck. There's not a lot you can do with that. Alright. Oh, shoot. I forgot to change the deck. Alright. Well, you guys will get a two for you. You get to see my Infinite deck and then my Patriot deck. I selected it for edit to show what was on it, but I completely forgot to actually go change it in the deck selection screen. My bad. Yeah. Okay. So he got death out very early on. I'm going to play Daredevil over here. Try to maintain my initiative. Okay. He's got Bucky Barnes. I don't like playing this deck against Destroy decks. I was fortunate last time in my previous video to win, but that's not always the case when you're playing a Destroy deck, especially since this card, this deck, I should say, relies on a lot of one-point cards. <laughs> We're going to try Shuffling. He's going to throw out some more cards, kill Bucky, change him into a Big Bucky, and he's going to screw up the Baxter building for me. So hopefully it'll shift right, not left. We'll see. Hey, I got lucky. All right, cool. You can have Sakaar now. And there she goes, and here comes Carnage. Yep. He'll probably throw Venom to Onslaught Citadel. That's what I would do. All right. Yuck. Not great. I'm going to build up the Baxter building and try to maintain that three-point lead with an eye toward throwing Giganto on Onslaught at the end of the round. And there's Killmonger. I had a hunch he'd come out here soon. The problem is he's probably... Well, I'm building up Baxter. I really should be building up Sakaar. Because he's going to wind up... Um, he's going to throw Null on the Baxter building, and, and that'll be very painful for me. Rats. I've only got Ebony Maw. I can't play him now. It's too late. Jeez Louise, I've lost this round. Well, let's just see what happens in the sixth round, then I'll retreat. Yeah, this is a no-win situation, so we're going to retreat from this. Besides, this is the Patriot video. This is what you guys came to see. Let me flip over to that and get that going so we can actually see how that deck looks instead of a second round of Infinite. And in this one, you get to see some of the weaknesses of it. It's not a real strong deck. It's just a fun deck. But, oh, go back. Come on. There we go. Patriot, this is what we're supposed to be doing. Let's get this deck going. Sorry, dog came in. The room started playing behind me. Okay, here we go. Here comes the Patriot deck. This is what I was trying to do. We're just going to hand the Wasp for now. I can play her anytime since she's a zero. I just have to try to play her before somebody plays Scorpion and basically nu uh, nukes her. Neuters her. And he's got Sunspot on the field. Unfortunately, I do not have High Evolutionary yet. I've been very unlucky in getting him. About as unlucky as I've been in drawing cards. Where are my ones and twos? I've got them in this deck. <laughs> he's got the High Evolutionary deck, of course. I hate playing against that deck. That is the most broken deck in this game. You really can't lose with it unless you just do something really stupid. All right. 
finally, I'm getting my cards out here. And we're just going to throw him to Westview. We'll throw her to Titan. Get two cards on the field. Try to regain some initiative. Uh, throw Patriot out in the next round. Give them a buff. And then probably the Thing. And then Ultron to finish out. We will see what happens. It'd be nice if Westview would turn into Elysium. Let me catch up on cards a little bit. Although, that would also really buff him since the um, High Evolutionary deck gets some serious buffs from Unspent Energy. Hey, no cards. Okay. He's just going to buff the big house real hard. That was fine by me. I'll take Westview and Titan. Ooh, Nidavellir. How do you say that? Okie dokie. Let's see here. I want to get her on the field after Patriot. Come on now. This guy's a little slow. I'm at a significant disadvantage playing against him. It's the same deck, basically, except I'm playing Patriot and he's playing High Evolutionary. Between the two, I think High Evolutionary has the edge since it has a very powerful deck as well as the ability to reduce enemy points. All right, let's get Mystique on the field. Let's play her to Nidavellir. And let's get Sinister on the field. We will take that one hard. Hopefully avoid him taking it back from us. Come on now. That's the plus two. Yeah, plus four. So that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So if I play Ultron to Titan, that gives me twenty big house to tie him. Not really confident that's gonna be enough. Unfortunately, you really don't want to have a tie against the high evolutionary, but we'll see what happens. I'm starting to think I should have played Mr. Sinister to Big House instead to get that buff. I feel like it was a mistake playing it to Nita Valier. I can never say that correctly. Mm -hmm. I could play Onslaught here. That would be 9 points. That would put that at a 15. The Hulk's going to be a beast when he comes out. Yeah, he's already up 26. I can't, can't function that with a tie. I don't think I can win this one. Well, we'll continue through. Just... Just to demonstrate the deck, if for no other reason, this will be my loss. At least he didn't snap. Here comes Hulk and um, Abomination. Yep, there's Hulk. And, oh, nope, lost. Well, still hurtful. And that's the Patriot deck. A pretty strong deck overall, just very weak against the High Evolutionary. Which tends to be the majority of your decks at the upper level. It's a very broken deck. And I'm at the bottom of 89 again. Well, I'll climb back up there with my discard deck. And um, go ahead and bust 100 later this week. But for now, I just want to get some videos out there. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to tune in next time. Also, please like and subscribe. And have a wonderful day.